Well, God bless you. Hello, Bishop Wooden here. Pray that you're having a fantastic day. The Lord is good and worthy to be praised. I'm grateful to be saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost in times like these. What a mighty God we serve. Now, I want to begin this little uh, announcement, my little weekly communications with you by saying thank you to many of those who are out there who have uh, discovered Bishop Wooden and this ministry, uh, many of you for the first time, and I appreciate the kind compliments and the kind comments that you are you're posting and saying uh, that shows an appreciation for the Word of God and the Bible being preached contextually and without compromise and the tying in of, of current events with the Word of the Lord. I often say this, that the Bible is more current than tomorrow morning's newspaper. If you want to know what's going on, if you want to know what tomorrow may bring, read the Word of God. Friends, it's all in the book. The God of the Bible has covered everything. There is not one situation that will arise in your life that the Word of God has not already spoken to. All you got to do is read it and make sure you're in a church where the preacher is preaching the Word of God book, chapter, and verse, and saying what God says, and not necessarily what they think or how they feel or what their positions uh, may be on an issue, if it's not a position that has a thus saith the Lord tied to it. Now, if they're taking a position that is biblical, then uh, stand by them and, and, and pray for them and pray for me. But if we, if they or me or anyone forsakes the Bible, Get your grip and leave there because without the word of God, none of us are anything. Without the word of God, we, just, we all just began be, uh, sink into the areas of subjectivity. And I have my opinion, you have your opinion, they have their opinion, and so forth and so on. But God's word is the arbiter. The word of God stands above all opinion. The word of God is what I call overarching truth. You know, people now talk about their truth and she's telling her truth and he's telling his truth and all that kind of garbage. Listen, I want to talk to you about God's truth and God's truth is overarching truth that stands above all of the little stories and the anecdotes and all of the things that uh, people are presenting today. So for those who have joined us, those who have a uh, 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 Many things that you've said that were wonderful about the message that we preach concerning Simon's wife's mother, uh, the studies that we've done, the laying out of the scripture, Sodom, past, present, and future. Yes, my friends, we agree with the God of the Bible on every social issue. And uh, I was at, uh, uh, at the Missions to Men's service uh, last night. I preached at Victoria's Praise Church of God in Christ. And while I was preaching the word of the Lord, I, I we declared that the anointing that God has given us, the power that God has given us, that is myself, uh, the other anointed men of God who was there at the men's conference. And the Lord blessed in a mighty way. I thank God for our men's choir who sang like two worlds were coming to an end. I thank God for our men's president, uh, Elder Anthony Wilson. I thank God for the members of the upper room who were there in great number. Thank God for my first assistant, Elder John Amachuku, my wife, you know, Pam's always there right beside me. And by the way, this coming Monday, she will be one of the women who will be speaking at the, at the pro-life uh, press conference that will be held in Charlotte, North Carolina. We are standing for life. At the men's conference, we talked about the fact that the anointing, the light that the God of the Bible has given us uh, is a light that is designed to impact our, our, our families, our communities, and yes, even the world. And we stand on God's word. Well, my friends, tonight I want to talk to you about the disciplined 
believer. It takes discipline to serve the God of the Bible. It takes courage, but it takes discipline. Amen. Because, you know, the enemy is doing everything that he can to pull us off track, to disqualify us, to silence the voices of those who are speaking up for the God of the Bible. And it is critical that as believers, we learn to walk in discipline. And as we discipline ourselves to serve the Lord, we're going to see great things. We're going to see the God of the Bible cause powerful things to happen in our lives. So join me tonight. I'm telling you, I am, I'm always excited about Bible study. I, I just think that there's nothing like a midweek Bible uh, uh, lesson and we come together and we, we get our Bibles and we get our pen and paper and we bring our, uh, you know, back in school, my, my the teacher would say, put on your attention cap. So you put on your attention cap and you come and hear the word of God taught uh, in a manner where we can understand the scripture, walk in the word of God. And here's the thing, apply it to our lives. So tonight, I'm excited about Bible study. I'm excited about seeing you. And the God of the Bible is going to meet us here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. Meet me tonight for Bible study. God bless.